to you know expand revenue and to scale, which is what we really needed to do, uh, we had to expand our product base. So we, I mean, it was, it was, it became pretty overwhelming though. That's the other side of that is when you start diversifying, especially all the way through the supply chain from production mm -hmm. and production, you can go so deep on uh, whether you're going to be the cow calf operator, the stocker operation, the finisher. I mean, there's like three businesses just in producing beef. Same thing mm -hmm. goes for the other proteins. Um, when we got back into it, we really went deep. We wanted to, to be in control of the entire supply chain. And, uh, uh, and what, you know, Kyle, we, ba we, we quickly within three years of raising poultry, uh, eggs, pork and beef within three years, we became very overwhelmed. And, and we've actually, come up with the, <laughs> when we talk to other uh, clients, we talk about the idea of, of a death from diversity. So diversity is a great mm. thing. And when we talk about diversity mm. on the, on the farm side of things, I always make a, try to make an important distinction. When I'm talking to other farms that follow what we do. There's a big difference between ecological diversity, which is always good mm. and business diversity which isn't right. always mm. good. I'll, I'll say all that to say that we found out within three years, we needed to have stronger partnerships with cow calf producers, um, mm. you know, farrow, uh, uh, farrowing operations to buy hogs for uh, finishing mm. here on our farm. So that kind of started our initial, we need to build a mm. producer network, um, which has been a big part of our impact and what we do here, because, you know, when we started uh, our transition into regenerative, we did not have a premium market. To go to so there was that mm. 10 year struggle and we feel like a big part of our impact now is to be able to take you know take away if a farm wants to get into regenerative production you know we can we can really help with that transition by having a premium market for them uh you know it's not all it's not going all the way to the consumer but we're also taking a ton of the headaches out of the equation for our producers as well so mm -hmm. uh, it that's like i say but our, our impact when we think about our impact it is uh it's bringing you know trust back to the consumer it's it's helping other family farms reduce that learning curve and and ultimately regenerate more soils as we're making that impact